What is happening, YouTube? Ryan here. And I discovered something not so fun about 10 minutes ago. So I had recorded Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Last of Us. I did three three episodes. Um, then headed off, forgot, went to get some stuff at the shop, got a drink. Came back and was about to record some more Man Eater. And I uh, just wanted to check what the mic was sounding like because I made adjustments before I started on episode part four of The Last of Us, remastered, and noticed somehow I set OBS to monitor but not output the game sound. So I had three full episodes of just my commentary and no game sounds. Beautiful. As amazing as my voice is, it just does not cover the game sound of three episodes. So, where to start over? So welcome, everyone, to part four of The Last of Us Remastered. Now, <laughs> the last time we left off, we had just met up, we sorted, we sorted Robert out, and we met up with Marlene, who's known as Queen Bee. They call her or Queen of the Fireflies, really. Not Queen Bee, because the Fireflies and the Bee. Queen of the Fireflies. Um, so yes, let this story continue. Hope everyone's doing okay. Hope you've had a good weekend. And let's do this. Whoa. Come on out. Get on up. Fuck away from hey. me. Let her go. Recruiting kind of young, aren't you? She's not one of mine. Oh, shit. What happened? Don't worry, this is fixable. I got his help. But I can't come with you. Well, then I'm staying. Ellie, we won't get another shot at this. Hey, we're smuggling her? There's a crew of fireflies that'll meet you at the Capitol building. That's not exactly close. You're capable. You hand her off, come back, the weapons are yours. Double what Robert sold me. Speaking of which, where are they? Back in our camp. We're not smuggling shit until I see them. You'll follow me. You can verify the weapons. I can get patched up. But she's not crossing to that part of town. I want Joel to watch over her. Whoa, whoa, I don't Bullshit, think that's the I'm best Ellie. Him? How do you know them? I was close with his brother Tommy. Said if I was ever in a jam, I could rely on him. Was that before or after he left your little militia group? He left you too. He was a good man. Look, just take her to the North Tunnel and wait for me there. Jesus Christ. It's just cargo, Joel. Marlene. No more talking. You'll be fine. <sighs> now go with him. Don't take long. And you, stay close. Let's go. Okay, here we see Ellie for the first time. Whoa, I heard all the shooting, but what happened? Fireflies. Same thing's gonna happen to us if we don't get off the street. You're the pro, I'm just following you. Sweet, another pendant. Like I've said before, I'm not gonna go out of my way to try and find all the firefly pendants but i won't leave them if i see them or remember where they are or anything like that um you get a trophy for them that's about it i think you get like some of the in-game currency so you can buy these guys over here you get different skins different skins you also get different backpacks i might actually end up switching up the backpack i don't want to really touch the few characters what they're wearing their clothes because you know it does change 
throughout the game by itself. I don't want to disrupt how they look, but um, I'm suit awesome. I might change up like Joel's backpack and Ellie's backpack. Maybe give him a military one or a camper. I won't change his shirt or anything like that. I don't think. I'll leave him in his denim. And then you also get concept arts. Yeah, I know it's free. I know it's free. Okay, we can't view them right now. You can view them from the main menu, but they are cool. And then your rendering modes, which I'm not. I'm not interested in those. Black and white and that type of stuff. I'm not interested in changing that. Some people are. But anywho, let us get moving. Weird they don't do anything when they see you. Oh, I don't think I've ever noticed those people doing that before. Interesting. Okay. Let us get to the next part. Down here. I probably will try and get this done a little, a little quicker, a little faster. Keep up. Punishable by death. Do not place yourself at risk. I'll probably try and get this, get each episode done a little faster than I did in my previous <laughs> recordings. Up there, that'll get us to the north tunnel. How are we supposed to reach that? Just give me a minute. Um, because I did take my time and there were nearly 40 minutes of a couple of those recordings out of the other three I did that I'm redoing so mainly me taking my time but I will still explain things um, try and keep quiet because you don't want to hear me speaking you want to hear them and the game sound like I, I said before the, the game sounds amazing you'll probably hear me go on and on about this game I apologize now it looks beautiful. It sounds amazing. Um, I've switched the game to stereo, the recording. Um, quickly give you an explanation why before we move on. So you can have this game in, if you have a look over here. I mean, if you go to the settings and your TV or system, whatever, in your PlayStation can do 7.1, you can have that. Um, but it can do, you know, diff here's different things. You can have it in in 5.1, or if you have stereo head for surround headphones like me, you can have 5.1 or even 7.1. But for some weird reason, it's not picking up the the dialogue properly. I tried disabling the center channel or setting it, you know, disabling it, but it still it still doesn't work properly. Sadly, I mean, for me, it sounds amazing. As far as I know, YouTube. From the research I can do, it does support 5.1 surround sound, but what it does is it puts the same, it takes whatever, the, however it works, and it puts the same sound in all the channels. It's technically mono, not 5.1. So after researching that, I was like, oh man. In the end, it is mainly for myself listening to it in 5.1 or 7.1, but for the recording, Let's, you know, we don't want to miss dialogue and have so, those issues. Yep. Like illegal things? Sometimes. You ever smuggle a kid before? No, that's a first. Um. Deal with you and Marlene anyways. Oh, no. She's my friend, I guess. Your friend, huh? You're friends with the leader of the Fireflies. What are you, like, 12? She knew my mom. And she's been looking after me. And I'm 14. Not that that has anything to do with anything. So where are your parents? <sighs> where are anyone's parents? They've been gone a long, long time. So instead of just staying in school, you decide to run up and join the Fireflies, is that it? Look, I'm not supposed to tell you why you're smuggling me, if that's what you're getting at. You don't know the best thing about my job. I don't gotta know why. To be honest with you, I give two shits what you're up to. Well, great. Good. Yeah, anyway, so, the, the, you know, the stereo is good enough. Like I said, the game sounds amazing still. It just adds a new dynamic to have it in 5.1, but you know what? 
if you guys have the game, go replay it and set it to 5.1. And if you don't, it's, you know, that's... Most things sound better in surround, so... It's me just being picky being a sound guy, but hey. Um, yeah, so I think we've got that sorted. We won't miss any dialogue because people are behind us now or something like that. Like, I think made it a bit harder in a few of the earlier episodes. Which is weird, because Man Eater's fine in 5.1. I think I recorded that in 7.1, actually. But, um, we'll keep The Last of Us in stereo. We'll keep Man Eater in 5.1. Yeah. So, quick description of that, and we shall go ahead. Time for me to shut up for a bit. Is it? What are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I am sure you will figure that out. The watch is broken. You mumble in your sleep. I hate bad dreams. Yeah, me too. You know, I've never been this close to the outside. Look how dark it is. Can't be any worse out there. Can it? What on earth do the fireflies want with you? Hey. Sorry it took so long. Soldiers fucking everywhere. How's Merlene? She'll make it. I saw the merchandise. It's a lot. Wanna do this? Yeah. Let's go. It's a bit strange that they're having us do their smuggling. Marlene wanted to do it herself. We weren't their first choice. Or the second, for that matter. She's lost a lot of men. Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, let's just hope there's someone alive to pay us. Someone will be around. Whoopsie. Hmm. Yeah, guys, I've read and remember most of the stuff, so I will pull it up, and then, you know, if you want to read it all, just give it a pause. I'd say read some of it. It's very interesting. Especially when we find documents describing the virus. It's very cool. So... Yeah, here we go. Who's waiting for us at the drop off? She said there's some fireflies that have traveled all the way from another city. The girl must be important. What is the deal with you? You some big wig's daughter or something? Something like that. How long is this all gonna take? If everything goes as planned, we should get you to them in a few hours. Ellie, once we get out there, I need you to follow our lead and stay close. Yeah, of course. Climb up and check if the coast is clear. Yes, boss. Now hold up. Is 
a patrol up ahead. All right, we're good. Come on up. Come on, kid. Watch your step. This rain ain't gonna do us any good. Oh, we're getting close to those. Remember, I said keep an eye out for those guys. Man, this game looks amazing still. Can't believe it. Made in 2013, and it, it looks so good, man. I do believe that they had some, some thoughts in the back of their mind while making this about... You know, it came out 2013, then the PS4 came out the following year. They were like, okay, well, we'll make it with potential for next gen. I do believe that. So, I, I believe this remaster was already hidden in my archives waiting for the PS4 to come out. Definitely. Like this one. Looks beautiful. And of course the, the voice actors are amazing. They are amazing. Sound design is top notch. Oh shit, ow. Move. Turn around, on your knees. You scan them, I'll call it in. Put your hands on your head. This is Ramirez at Sector 12, requesting pickup for three stragglers. Understood. Look the other way. They can make this worth your while. Shut up. Tired of shit. Mm-hmm. What's the ETA? A couple minutes. Or something. Oh shit. Look. Jesus Christ. Marlene set us up? Why the hell are we smuggling an infected girl? I'm not infected. No? I was just lying. I can explain. You better explain fast. Look at this. I don't care how you got infected. It's three weeks old. No, everyone turns within two days, so you stop bullshitting. It's three weeks, I swear. Why would she set you up? I ain't buying it. Oh, shit. Tess, run. Run! Go, go, go move! Out of here. Follow me. When I give you the signal, we run. Signal, run. Got it. Now, run. Oh, that was close. Damn. Ready? Sure. Yeah. God damn it. They're everywhere. Let's see him. Let's see him. They must have gotten through. Check the trench. Just stay back. You're kidding me, dumb man. Are you sure they came this way? Because otherwise, you scan him. Stay down, don't let him see you. Okay. Not again. 
Spots up there. How seriously, Tess? If we can sneaky past this bastard. Oh. I'd love to shoot him, but I do not have the ammo for that shit. Helmets on too, so it'll probably knock that off first. I might have missed something. We can get through here. A few little bits, but anyway, nothing special. Always good to have shivs. Always good to have shivs. It is hot today Damn. here in the UK. Come on. Come on, Ellie. I'm cooking. I'm using my fan to blow my PS4 so it doesn't make too much noise. That thing's been noisy as hell, especially in Man Eater. My word. Get get these bastards. And I'm out of here. Get past them. I ain't spider this yet. Let's go around. Too many tests. Oh, man. They're in here with us. See if you can distract them. All right. Early. Man, if he started shooting her, I would have been so pissed off. Some more lights. Okay, he's now walking there. Normally I take him out. Some weird stuff happening this time around. Ooh. Are you shitting me? So annoying. Bullshit. We're out of here. Some proper bullshit happening this time round. <laughs> it's so weird. Sometimes you play this and some weird crap right. happens. Stay close. At least we're out of the rain. I'm running because I spent a few minutes talking. There's a specific spot I want to get to to wrap this up on. We're already at 24 minutes. Charlie Squad, report! Shit, shit. I got more soldiers. Target's still on the loose, sir. Break off pursuit and report back to Sector 11. I don't think they see us. Acknowledge. Get to your vehicle. Stay in the shadows. I think they're gone, Joe. Right. 
Are we safe? No. They're still around. Let's take a moment to catch your breath. Joel, see if there's anything we can use in here. Sure thing, Box. everything in this room. Yes, up through here through this pipe. I think we can make it through here. Stay very close, son. Okay. Keep going, you dicks. Okay, let's move. Let's say that we deliver you to the Fireflies. What then? Marlene, she said that they have their own little quarantine zone with doctors there still trying to find a cure. Yeah, we've heard that before, huh, Tess? And that... Whatever happened to me is the key to finding a vaccine. Oh, Jesus. That's what she said. Oh, I'm sure she did. You man, I didn't ask for this. Me neither. Tess, what the hell are we doing here? What if it's true? I can't. <sighs> what if, Joel? I mean, we've come this far. Let's just finish it. Do I need to remind you what is out there? I get it. This way. If we cut through downtown, we can hit the Capitol building by sunrise. We hope. Hit those two buildings I spoke about earlier. Man, the soundtrack kicks ass. So at last, <laughs> when I recorded this earlier, there's a sneaky little place I found over here that I don't think I'd found before, so I can show you guys. Hop over here. Check these guys. Nice. Okay, guys. Well, as far as I remember, last episode, I went around there to check and down there, and there is nothing. So don't, you know, don't worry too much about that. Um, this is a good point to wrap up. We're at 29 minutes, which is good. Good. I mean, just look at this with the rain and everything. This game still looks amazing. This game could come out, I wouldn't say this year, but last year or maybe 2018, and it would look, you'd still be like, damn, that's good. And I mean, as I'll show you later, when you're up high, it would be nice to see infected in the distance. But at the same time, you know, because of how linear this game is, you know, there is some drawing distance. Um, but... In many ways, I like that, you know, when you're up high, that looks good. When you're up high, you don't see infected everywhere. Um, for one, they're kind of hiding away, which is cool. So it's not like just every other zombie thing, game, movie, whatever. Because they're not really zombies, they're infected, you know? Um, because if you die, you can get bitten and then you die. You won't, you won't turn. You need to be alive for this thing to... You know, to make you become one of them. 
and you don't die from the bite, if you get bitten, you turn into one of them. But yeah, so it is good to see with how linear it is, it allows, you know, all the, the focus to be on the areas you're, you're able to get in. So, the, you know, the graphics is wow. Um, and in many ways, I hope number two is is linear like this. Maybe a, a tiny bit more exploring to be done, but uh, I really hope part two is an open world. I think it will destroy the whole character that the first one, this one, has, has built for the game and its name. But yeah, we just escaped the quarantine zone finally, and we are headed into one of these guys so thank you so much for joining me and catch you in part five take two thanks a lot guys see you soon